Welcome back guys, Wastelander here, and let's get into part 3 of episode 1, the Telltale series. Alexa. It's me. Another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battery rams to force their way in, with breaking and entering incidents up 40% over last year. Remember to keep those front doors locked tonight. And we have breaking news tonight. Five criminals are in custody this evening after a break-in at City Hall. But thanks to the efforts of the Batman, the stolen items were returned. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Allegations that Dent may have actually been involved in the break-in. Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water with the voters? Or will it be perceived as a desperate attempt from a flailing campaign to take down one of Gotham's most promising young politicians? And in other news, we are now on day three of the factory fire that will not end. Crews have given up trying to combat the blaze at the Otisburg Processing Center, owned by... Nearly Ace. fell off a building for this? Dashio Garmoni was found hanging off the side of the 4th Street Bridge, sometime just before dawn, causing traffic to back up for miles as the cops cut him down. Spare grapple. Can't believe I let her take that. Random stabbings are the latest headache for the riders of Gotham's overcrowded Skyrail cars to contend with. Well, the test run at the mayor's office was a success. Cases of riders receiving abdominal wounds from an ice pick or other pointed weapon while pressed into the tight. Can deliver a jolt or knock out electricity in the area. And I suppose that Catwoman would have preferred the latter. The police don't have any suspects at the time. Have gone the newest addition can program it to reveal trace elements in a confined space. I should see if I can refine the edge. Could be sharper. More on this after the break. Mayor Hill says he's tough on crime, but since his election, violence in Gotham has skyrocketed. And when he was presented with legislation that would have dismantled organized crime in the city, he vetoed it, killing Gotham vote for Harvey Dent and elect a real crime fighter to Gotham's mayoral seat. I'm Harvey Dent, and I approve this message. The side of the 4th Street Bridge, sometime just before... Holographic lenses? Voice modulation? Wayne Enterprises really outdid themselves with this version. Random stabbings are the latest headache for the riders of Gotham's overcrowded Skyrail cars to contend with. Gotham police are investigating... The suit absorbed most of the damage from that gunshot. I've got to protect my back, even from the police. ...while pressed into the tight... ...district attorney Harvey Dent just might be the hero Gotham needs. But he can't save our city alone. seriously would kill for that computer. This has nothing to do with the game, but I want that computer. I do. I want it so bad. I'd be a vi I'd be a villain. Let's find out what was so important. In Gotham's crime, but it starts. <sighs> encrypted. I mean, in all honesty, did he really think it wasn't going to be encrypted? Did you hear the the disappointment in his voice? Like, oh, encrypted. 
Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court and a movie theatre. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave, in front of a computer. Maybe he's got a social media problem, Alfred? You know, maybe he's on Gotham Book? Well, then you won't mind if I skip cleaning the rest. The dusting is murder. So Alfred does all the cleaning in that big-ass mansion. Nobody decided to hire some maids to help him out. I mean, he's a billionaire. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Uh, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs. Everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime... I saved you what I could. I think so. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. I don't want anything to do with Falcone. Well, he certainly showed interest in you. That's what worries me. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? Never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. No, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins... Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. You have to admit you've been drawing a lot of attention to yourself, and not the playboy billionaire buys new yacht kind of attention. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right, you're right. I should have cancelled the event. I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I know you're only looking out for me. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though I'm not partial to heights. Uh, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. If you know what bad guy Oswald Cobblepot is, leave a comment in the section below. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam. If I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. 
Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. And the plot thickens. Dun, dun, dun! Well, as much as I enjoy having this one-sided conversation, even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. I hope to see your comments down in the section below, and thanks for viewing. Remember, like, subscribe, comment, share, and uh, stay tuned for the next part four.